Hey everybody, what's going on? Thanks for swinging by. I sure do appreciate it. If this is your first time with the channel, my name is Mark. Oh, hi Mark. Welcome to Fit and Fire. Let's get into this video. Once again, we're going to be doing a ammo price comparison video. I'm doing them every single month, trying to drop them right at the end of the month. So this will be for the month of July. We are at the Cabela's Ooh. in uh, Legends, Kansas City, and just wanted to see what was going on in there. Now, spoiler alert, I've already been inside and filmed everything already. And I can tell you that I was a little let down about uh, the selection that they had here, not to mention the, the organization was just terrible. Once we got into like 6.5 Creedmoor, 308, and 30 out 6, boxes were just scattered all over the place. So this is going to be kind of a wild ride. Now, with all of that being said, this video series is not trying to tell you guys what to do, where to buy, when to buy, any of that type of stuff. I have my recommendations, but at the end of the day for you guys, this is kind of a market comparison. So if we go into these big box stores and see what the prices are doing in these stores, whether they're going up, whether they're going down, holding steady, it doesn't matter. We can then determine what we should be doing for how we purchase ourselves. I know a lot of you purchase online and I think that that is just great. Uh, continue to do that for sure. But I think it's also good to go ahead and jump into these, these stores like Bass Pro Shops, Cabela's, Shields, uh, and whatever chain is in your area to see what the prices are doing. I'm trying to do that in the central United States. So people in Texas, prices are going to be different. Obviously, California, they just got hit with an 11% tax on the 1st of July. So their prices are going up. Uh, East Coast is going to be a lot more expensive as well. But here, uh, especially in my area, so the Kansas City area is going to be kind of, uh, I would say, somewhat on the low end maybe, but uh, pretty steady at the very least. So that's what I've got. Let's get inside and show you guys what the prices are at this location. Okay, so in this location, um, man, I can tell you that this is uh, quite weird. Uh, ammunition was just stocked all over the place and prices are out of control. Not to mention the uh, stocking and availability of certain types of rifle and pistol ammunition was very specific to a certain age group. And you'll see what I'm talking about in this video. But let's start off with 22 long rifle. We've got Winchester 40 grain Super X at 11 cents. Federal American Eagle 45 grain at 12 cents per round. CCI 32 grain Stinger at 10 cents per round. Agula 40 grain high velocity Super Extra and Hollow Points are all eight cents a round. Remington 40 grain Golden Bullet High Velocity at 10 cents a round. That's in just the standard box there. Then you got Winchester 40 grain Varmint X at 15 cents a round. Winchester 40 grain Super X at 12 cents a round. Federal 40 grain Auto Match at seven cents a round. Federal 36 grain Champion at 7.7 .7 cents a round. Agula 38 grain super extra at 6.8 cents a round. Winchester 40 grain Wildcat at 9 cents a round. Remington 40 grain golden bullet high velocity in that large pack actually kind of drops down to 8.6 cents per round or if you're a member 7.4 cents a round. Herders 36 grain plated hollow point at 6.6 cents per round. You see there, we've already got uh, Federal covered and Agula covered, no price change there. And rounding out 22 long rifle is Blazer 40 grain at eight cents a round. There was a lot of bulk stuff too, but um, we've already covered it and it wasn't really any of change. So let's move on to nine millimeter. First and foremost, we've got Hornady 115 grain FTX critical defense at $1.20 a round. Ammo Incorporated 147 TMC, which means Total Metal Ammo Casing. <laughs> it's their stealth at 50 cents a round. Arms Core 124 grain jacketed hollow point at 75 cents per round. Remington 115 grain jacketed hollow point at 70 cents a round. Winchester 115 grain hollow points at 62 cents a round. 
Barnes 115 grain Vortex TAC XP hollow points at $1.25. Federal 115 grain full metal jacket at 42 cents around. Federal 124 grain full metal jacket at 44 cents around. Federal 124 grain HST or 35 grain Hydroshock at $1.75. Federal 124 grain punch at a dollar around. Federal 115 grain FMJ at 38 cents around, which is more like what we should expect or even lower. If you're a club member, it's 28 cents around. That's what you should be expecting. Ammo Incorporated 115 grain TMC streak, which is kind of their tracer ammo at 60 cents around. Federal 147 grain full metal jacket, 44 cents around. SIG 115 grain jacket of hollow point elite defense v-crown at a dollar around Winchester 124 FMJ NATO spec at 30 cents around blazer 124 grain full metal jacket 32 cents around and finally SIG 115 grain full metal jacket 365 at 60 cents per round we'll move on to 38 special Blazer 125 grain FMJ at 64 cents around. Remington 138 grain full metal jacket UMC at 70 cents around. Winchester 130 grain FMJ at 60 cents per round. And way over there on the right, you can see some 30 super carry. Uh, I thought that that was 38, but uh, closer inspection it wasn't. So moved on. Hornady 110 grain FTX at $1.36 per round. Herders 130 grain full metal jacket at 48 cents per round. Federal 110 grain Hydroshock at $1.50. Remington 158 lead round nose UMC at 70 cents around. Arms Corps 158 grain full metal jacket at 60 cents around. Federal 158 lead round nose at 68 cents per round. HSM 158 grain round nose flat point at 70 cents around federal 130 grain fmj at 76 cents around and then rounding that off you had the winchester 130 grain fmj 100 round box at 62 cents per round um, which was kind of weird because that was more expensive than just the standard 50 round box Moving on to 357 Magnum, we only had two offerings. That was Arms Corps 158 grain FMJ at 68 cents per round. And then Remington 125 grain jacket of soft point UMC at a dollar per round. All right, so I figured we'd go and check out 40 Smith & Wesson. Uh, oh, we're not doing that. <laughs> we're going to the best millimeter. That's 10 millimeter. <laughs> That's uh, going to be uh, starting off with Blazer 180 grain. Full metal jacket, flat nose at 58 cents per round. Remington 180 grain FMJ UMC at 90 cents per round. Agula 180 grain FMJ at 58 cents per round. HSM 200 grain FMJ at a dollar a round. Arms Corps 180 grain FMJ at 60 cents per round. Hornady 150. 135 grain monoflex handgun hunter at a dollar 75 and then back over to federal 200 grain hst for two dollars and 25 cents per round and arms core excuse me ammo incorporated 180 grain fmj tmc at 60 cents per round as you can see 45 AARP has quite an offering. This is one of two calibers that you'll see that has quite a bit of variability and stock. So let's dive into it. Hornady, 220 grain plus P flex lock critical duty at $1.75. Federal, 210 grain Hydroshock at $2 per round. SIG, 230 jacket at hollow point. Elite Performance V Crown at $1.20. CCI 9 shot shot shell at $2.50 per round if you guys are interested in that. Hornady 230 grain plus P XTP at $1.50 per round. Federal 230 punch at $1.30 a round. Federal 230 HST at $2 per round. And some PPU 230 grain FMJs at 
70 cents around. It's pretty interesting. I haven't seen that before. Sig 200 grain jacket of hollow point elite performance V crown at a dollar 20 per round. Agula 230 FMJ at 54 cents around, which is that's actually a pretty good deal right there. Uh, Winchester 185 grain jacket at hollow points silver tip at a dollar 25. Federal 230 grain FMJ at a dollar around. And then they had some of this uh, interesting subsonic stuff, the Winchester 230 FMJ encapsulated super suppressed at 76 cents per round. Winchester 230 grain FMJ at 58 cents around. I don't know why Federal has a dollar around earlier. That seems really weird, but okay, whatever. Uh, SIG 230 FMJ at 86 cents per round. American Eagle 230 TSJ standing for total synthetic jacket at 76 cents per round, whatever that is. Spear 230 grain TMJ fully encapsulated bullet at 70 cents a round. Herders 230 grain FMJs at 52 cents a round. Ammo Incorporated 230 grain TMC at 60 cents a round. Herders 230 grain jacketed hollow point at 90 cents a round. And then Remington 230 grain FMJ UMC at 70 cents a round. They had some bulk stuff, but it was pretty much the same price as well. Let's move over to the rifle calibers. First and foremost, we have Winchester M193 at 70 cents a round, or if you remember at 65 cents a round, that's garbage. Hornady 50 grain CX Super Performance at $1.75. Hornady 75 grain Boat Tail Hollow Point Black 223 at $1.10. Hornady 75 grain boat tail hollow point super performance match 223 is $1.55. Then moving over to Winchester M855 at 75 cents a round. That's garbage as well. Hornady 53 grain VMAX super performance varmint 223 is $1.50. Hornady 55 grain VMAX varmint express 223 is $1.35. Federal 55 grain soft point Jacketed soft point 223 is $1.20. SIG 60 grain solid copper elite series is $1.50 per round. Winchester 40 grain varmint X 223 at $1.10. Uh, as you see there, stocking issues, got some hornity creeping in the background. Winchester 64 grain deer season XP at $2 per round. Frontier 68 grain book tail hollow point 223 at 85 cents a round. It's actually Okay, I guess for specialty ammo. Burgers, 73 grain boat tail target at $2 a round. And then uh, True Velocity composite case, 55 grain FMJ 556 at $1.25. And then Hornady, 75 grain boat tail hollow point match 223 at $1.60 per round. Moving on to 300 Blackout, we have American Eagle 150 grain FMJ at $1.20. Uh, that's moving on up, and so is everything else. So Hornady 190 grain Sub X Subsonic at $1.85. Hornady 110 grain VMAX Black at $1.60. We have Winchester 147 grain FMJ at $1.10. And then Herders 200 grain Open Tip Subsonic at $1.15. Moving on over to 3030 Winchester. Uh, might do some deer hunting with this this year, I don't know, but uh, we've got Norma 150 grain whitetail at $1.50 per round. Winchester 150 grain deer season XP at $1.50 a round as well. Hornady 160 grain FTX lever revolution at $1.90 a round. Federal 170 grain jacket of soft point power shock at $1.40 a round. Winchester 170 power point at $1.45 around. Hornady 150 grain interlock American Whitetail at $1.45 around. Federal 150 grain hammer down premium at $2 around. And then Remington 170 grain core lock SP at $1.40 per round. Moving on from there, this is where it's gonna go to hell in a handbasket real quick because it's gonna be scattered all over the place. We got 6.5 Creedmoor starting off with Federal 130 grain Terminal Ascent at $3.25. But 
Don't worry, there's more expensive ones. I'll show you at the end. Hornady 140 grain ELD match at $2.20 a round. Norma 143 grain bond strike, $2.25 a round. Federal 140 grain bonded soft point fusion at $2.25 a round as well. Federal 135 grain burger hybrid hunter at $2.75 a round. Winchester 129 grain PowerPoint at $1.45 a round. Hornady 120 grain ELD match at $2.20 a round. Winchester 125 grain deer season XP at $2 a round. Nosler 140 grain ballistic tip at $2.15 a round. Ammo Incorporated 140 grain interlock soft point at $1.75. Hornady 143 grain ELDX Precision Hunter at $2.25 a round. SIG 140 grain OTM Marksman Elite Match Grade at $2 a round. Hornady 129 grain Interlock American Whitetail at $1.60 a round. Hornady 120 grain CX Outfitter at $2.10 a round. And then Ammo Incorporated 140 grain SST at $1.90 a round. Moving on from there, we checking out 308. Uh, we've got Federal 165 grain Swift Sirocco 2 at $3 a round. Winchester 180 grain or 150 grain PowerPoint at $1.55. Nozzler 165 grain Acubon Trophy grade at $3 a round. SIG 150 grain solid copper elite series at $2.35 a round. Remington 150 grain interlock tip at $2.40 a round. Norma 180 grain bond strike at $2 a round. Remington 180 grain core lock tip at $2.45 a round. Look at that, 30 out 6 is right next to it. Winchester 150 grain deer season XP with uh, that coming in at $1.90 per round. And right next to that, you've got this 280 Ackley on one side and 30 out six on the other side. It's just all over the place. 30 out six is even worse. I had to jump all over the place, and that's what we're going to be looking at. The good old fashioned Boomer Op 6, there is a lot of variability here. And this is the second ammunition that you'll see that. <laughs> is catering to a certain demographic but norma 150 grain white tail is at a dollar 70. hornady 180 grain sp american white tail at a dollar 60. norma 180 grain bond strike at two dollars and fifty cents per round remington 180 grain and 150 grain core locked tipped at two dollars and forty cents around winchester 150 grain Deer season XP at $1.90 a round. Winchester 165 grain PowerPoint at $1.55. Moving on over to Hornady 180 grain SST Super Performance at $2.65 a round. Hornady 180 grain CX Outfitter at $2.20 a round. Federal 165 Bonded Soft Point Fusion at $2 a round. Remington 165 grain Core lock tip at $2.45 a round. Remington 125 grain core lock PSP at $1.70 a round. Nosler 180 grain boat tail ballistic tip at $2.15. Hornady 150 grain super performance SST at $2.25 a round. Remington 180 grain swift. Sirocco bonded at $3.15, holy cow. Hornady 150 grain interlock American whitetail at $1.60. Winchester 180 grain PowerPoint is in the wrong place. It has the wrong price, price to it, so I didn't even get a price. But finally, Nosler 180 grain Acubon trophy grade at $3 per round. So here's the bonus round. We have this 300 rum, and you can choose a uh, Nosler trophy grade in two different uh, <laughs> grain weights. Holy cow, this blew my mind. 210 grain 
ABLR at $5.25 per round and 180 grain AccuBond at $5 a round. Wow, that's crazy. Uh, realistically, uh, this location is a complete train wreck. Uh, I would not recommend anyone coming here to buy something unless you absolutely need it. It throws any type of market comparison out the window because the prices are just chaotic. I mean, there's all over the place, some high, some low, I mean, just ridiculous. But did you notice the Boomer cartridges, 45 ACP and uh, Boomer Rot 6? <laughs> they were fully stocked and had a lot of variability. So with all that being said, uh, Bass Pro Shop, what the heck are you doing? Uh, this is ridiculous, but thanks for swinging on by guys. And we'll catch you next time. As always, freedom through strength. Take it easy, y'all.